Okay, so in this video, I'm going to review this Mindfold sleep mask. Basically, over the years, I've purchased quite a few different sleep masks to improve sleep quality. And now I'm doing uh, a series of video reviews on each of the ones that I own so that it's easier for other people to know what to look out for when they're purchasing a sleep mask. And I'm going to compare the sleep masks on the criteria, does it achieve total darkness, is it comfortable, um, does it stay on the head, and are the materials good. So this is the Mindfold. It is well known for being one of the better sleep masks for getting total darkness. If you're looking online for you know one from the plane, for meditating, for sleep, that and you, you specify darkness, this one will come up quite a lot as a recommended option. And it is good at achieving that. It's probably one of the it's one of the best for total darkness, but it does have some some downsides. So first up, why is it good for total darkness? Well, it's got these eye cavities, these cutouts, and then you've got all this padding, this foam padding coming from all the other directions. So when that's tight on your face, yeah, it's very difficult for no light really comes in. Uh, you might still get a little bit down here but pretty much none from anywhere else. So the next question, is it comfortable? It depends, but not really. It's not ideal. So the problems here are, there's a few. So first one I'll mention is the eye cavities, the cutouts, they are deep enough, which is good. So there's, there's zero feeling of pressure or, you know, from your, on your eyelid from, from this part. So comparing that with, say, one of these types of um, sleep masks with no uh, eye cutouts, you're going to get a bit of pressure on your eyelids. Well, there's none of that with this, which is good, but they're, they're not wide enough. For me, they're, they're not. it's not wide enough, so the edges of my eyes push against the foam here, and I find that irritating. So it's not wide enough. That's the first problem with the comfort. Another problem is the edges here, I don't know if I can show that on the camera, the edges from this Velcro stuff is is kind of, it, it's not itchy, but it, I reckon it would irritate some people, um, and I've heard other people criticize that component of it as well. So that, that's also a problem to be aware of, you know, that digging into your skin, um, you know, above your ear, that's an issue. Then there's also the issue that these side parts here, you know, this is hard plastic. And when you roll over, if you roll over, you know, I, I sleep on my back, but some people, side sleepers, it's going to bend. And for one, it might let in some light when you, when it bends. But also that bit there on the side is going to potentially, you can go into your skin, which could be annoying to, you know, annoying for some people. And the other thing I'll mention for the comfort is, I don't know what it is, but the, this foam, it, it doesn't feel, it's not bad, but it doesn't feel as nice as some of the other materials that uh, other brands have done, like like this, for example. This one here is very soft. This one has its own problems, though. Um, so that's just another thing to be aware of. Does it stay on the head? Yes, it's pretty solid in that sense. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's basically it for this one. Would I recommend it? It depends on your situation and, and for one, how tired are you? Because if you're really, really tired, then some of these potentially annoying elements to this product might not irritate you because you might just be tired. That's what's been the case for me when I've used it a couple of times. Just if you're tired enough and you don't mind these things, but if you're not super tired, then you, you'll notice them. And one last thing to mention is the durability. I have heard online, I'm not sure what the time frame was, but the this foam part, peeling away from the this hard plastic section. I don't know if that happened, you know, over many years or, or a short amount of time, but that's another thing to be aware of. I've got more videos on improving sleep and lots of other aspects to improving health coming up, so hit the subscribe button.